Hi everyone, I'd like to show you how to configure Traffic Statistics Collection. Traffic Statistics Collection is mainly used to locate network faults. As shown in the figure, if there is a long delay in the server response to requests from the PC, or if ping packets are lost, a fault may have occurred on the network. We can collect traffic statistics to locate the failure point. On switch A, configure traffic statistics collection in the inbound direction of GE001 and outbound direction of GE002. On switch B, configure traffic statistics collection in the inbound direction of GE002 and the outbound direction of GE001. If the numbers of packets in the inbound and outbound directions of switch A are the same, switch A is working properly. If the number of packets in the outbound direction is less than the number of packets in the inbound direction, packets have been lost on switch A. This means that switch A is the failure point. To check whether switch B is the failure, use the same method. If the number of packets in the inbound direction of GE002 on switch B is less than the number of packets in the outbound direction of GE002 on switch A, the link between switch A and switch B has failed. With this method, we can rapidly locate failure points. We can collect statistics on ping packets to locate faults. There are five steps. One, configure an advanced ACL and define a rule to match ICMP packets. Two, configure a traffic classifier and reference the ACL in the traffic classifier. Three, configure a traffic behavior and configure traffic statistics collection. Four, configure a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifier to the traffic behavior in the traffic policy. Five, apply the traffic policy to inbound and outbound directions of an interface. After the configuration is complete, check packet statistics. We can check whether the device or the link fails based on packet statistics. Let's move to the detailed configuration. Step 1. Configure an advanced ACL to match ICMP packets from the PC to the server. Step 2. Configure a traffic classifier and reference the ACL in the traffic classifier to match ICMP packets. Step 3. Configure a traffic behavior and enable traffic statistics collection. Step 4. Configure a traffic policy and bind the traffic classifier to the traffic behavior in the traffic policy. Step 5. Apply the traffic policy to inbound and outbound directions of an interface. The configuration of switch B is similar to the configuration of switch A. Let me show you how to configure traffic statistics collection on a switch. Let's see the configuration on switch A. Step 1. Create an advanced ACL in the system view and define a rule to match ping packets from the PC to the server. The ping packets are ICMP packets with the source IP address of 192.168.1.10 and destination IP address of 192.168.1.100. Exit from the advanced ACL view. Step 2, create a traffic classifier and reference the ACL in the traffic classifier. Exit from the traffic classifier view. Step 3, create a traffic behavior, enable the traffic statistics collection function, and exit from the traffic behavior view. Step 4, create a traffic policy. Bind the traffic classifier to the traffic behavior in the traffic policy and exit from the traffic policy view. Step 5. Apply the traffic policy to interfaces. Enter the view of GE001. Apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of GE001. And exit from the view of GE001. Enter the view of GE002. Apply the traffic policy to the outbound direction of GE002 and exit from the view of GE002. The configuration of switch B is similar to the configuration of switch A. Step 1. Create an advanced ACL in the system view and define a rule to match ping packets from the PC to the server.
The ping packets are ICMP packets with the source IP address of 192.168.1.10 and the destination IP address of 192.168.1.100. Exit from the advanced ACL view. Step 2. Create a traffic classifier and reference the ACL in the traffic classifier. Exit from the traffic classifier view. Step 3. Create a traffic behavior. Enable the traffic statistics collection function and exit from the traffic behavior view. Step 4. Create a traffic policy. Bind the traffic classifier to the traffic behavior in the traffic policy and exit from the traffic policy view. Step 5. Apply the traffic policy to interfaces. Enter the view of GE001. Apply the traffic policy to the outbound direction of GE001 and exit from the view of GE001. Enter the view of GE002. Apply the traffic policy to the inbound direction of GE002 and exit from the view of GE002. The configurations of switch A and switch B are complete. Ping the server IP address 192.168.1.100 from the PC. Check packet statistics on the device. GE001 on switch A is used here as an example. Run the display traffic policy statistics interface, interface type, interface number, inbound command to check packet statistics in the inbound direction. Here, match packets indicates the number of packets that match the traffic classification rule. Pass packets indicates the number of forwarded packets that match the traffic classification rule. Drop packets indicates the number of discarded packets that match the traffic classification rule. The statistics collection period includes the time from after the last time statistics were cleared. If the number of packets in the inbound direction of GE001 on switch A is the same as the number of packets in the outbound direction of GE002, no packet has been lost on switch A and switch A works properly. Pay attention to the following points. The statistics query during the operation are inaccurate, so check the statistics after the print operation is complete. To check packet statistics multiple times, run the reset command to clear original statistics before checking. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, all about switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you.